In the currency quadrant, looking at the September Japanese yen futures, which had a very strong rally going, but had that rally paused today, with the Japanese yen finishing down about 56 basis points, or a little bit more than a half of 1%. That's the first down day versus the prior day settlement the yen has had in the previous seven sessions. The entire up move, including the drop today, measured from the June 30th low, brings the yen to plus 4.23%, and on a weekly basis, the yen still finished higher for its second consecutive week. On the upside today, the yen reached 73.58 half, which was up a little bit more than a half of 1%, 55 basis points to be exact. And on the downside, the yen fell to 72.56 half, which was down a little bit more than eight tenths of 1%. Profit taking could have been part of the motive for today's yen sell-off as the dollar rallied today against most major currencies, obviously including the yen. And given that we're entering a weekend, an extended move sometimes generates weekend profit taking. The euro didn't participate that much, only down about seven tenths, but the Canadian dollar fell three quarters of a percent against the US dollar, the Aussie fell seven tenths, and the Swiss fell a third of 1%. Given that most currencies had been higher for the last six sessions against the US dollar, profit taking prior to the weekend is a logical conclusion for some of the headwinds that the yen faced today. Economic data, also was not cooperative as industrial production and capacity utilization in Japan both fell more than expected and came in lower than the previous month. May industrial production fell 2.2% versus a forecast of down 1.6 and cap ute fell 6.3% versus an expectation of down 2.5. Both figures were mildly positive last month. This coming week, we get Japanese inflation data, which could be interesting given that the new Bank of Japan president, Kazuko Ueda, has already put forth plans to review the unorthodox tools used by his predecessor to keep rates in check in Japan and keep the currency where the BOJ wanted.